so we, we killed the dragon that's something didn't expect it to go the way it went that's also something you got any new items because I did that I wonder if I've missed some hands somewhere because apparently this lady sells these two things indefinitely for certain people and not me so I've missed something yeah I'd like to find some twink yes yes eyes and all that stuff take pig nourish I love it so stamina is still getting a nice bonus from the points Dex just end. Interesting, a single point is a single point in weight. Also increases your defense. When I get my endurance to forty. And if we can do what with the dragon soul, did we get a dragon soul for killing it? It's too busy, just shock and awe. We got like a weird act that, whatever that is. Do you think that's his soul? It must be. We've got three slabs now. Apparently, I've got two pieces of twink. I might be able to put the chaos blade up one. It is. Puts it to S scaling too. That's insane. It's already got better scaling. It's just worse at base damage. Look at that, it's fucking nuts, dude. 377343. Three. It's already comparable to my best weapon. Madness. Absolute madness that that weapon is that strong. Chaos Blade is going to be popular, folks. There's no way it can't be. It's always been popular because it's the most powerful dex weapon in Dark Souls 1. The only person who uh, doesn't understand that are people who PvE. Is that bountiful sunlight, maybe? It's the only thing we can make from it as well. So unfortunately, that is a miracle. So it doesn't help me too much. But we'll grab it, why not? I am a thousand. Very well, then. Look at that, it's insane how much you get. Thou thy peace dis no. Then again, I do think that this is a level, this is a game where stamina for PvP doesn't need to be that much of a thing because even with base stamina, you get like, what, eight attacks? A bunch of rolls? So people are going to probably sacrifice points in stamina over everything else just because stamina goes so far in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. And especially because equip load is not tied to it, you're going to get even more people uh, intentionally neglecting it because they don't see the need. Which is going to breed build diversity. Which is a good thing. Let's take our time now, shall we? Any cheeky drop off? But oh, I can't go up there. What say? That looks like it would be perfect to fall under and be a secret. Ah! Uh -huh. What? 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 Maybe I have to drop. That looks really dangerous.
Watch the dragon come back. That would be hilarious. It'd have been good if you could hit the bell and it disorientated it. So you had to hit the bell, then you had to run, then get to the next bell, hit the bell, disorientate it, and then run again. But I suppose it'd be a little too similar to maybe the dragon god then, because it's like leashing it, isn't it, with the arrows. Ember. Ember. And ship berries. My favourite of the berries. The ones with the feces. And a ring of steel protection. Okay, is it any good? Mr. Steel Protection Ring. It puts your right hand start from... Was it adding 10 to them? It's adding about 8. And I don't know if that's good, but it could be. If that's your thing, if you're a defense person, go for it. Didn't make a noise when I bounced off. It's weird. Look at this dude. See ya. Ooh. Jump, please. No. Don't think you can go that way. Somebody chasing me? Yep. Lunge. Snakehead instead. And a big punish. Can't lock onto this motherfucker. I don't know why. Just having issue. Ring the bells. No, don't ring the bells. One of us is lying. Paradox. Combo. S scale. Cool. That looks like I'll slip and die if I go too far that way, so I'll probably avoid that. You know, just for science. So can we see this dude before he falls? Yeah, we can. He's a bit goofy, but he's actually there. And I keep stacking my roll, my attacks. He has a backing up slash. Covers way more ground than you think it would as well. A little dickish. Let's put this back on. I don't mind taking a little extra damage if I get a little extra health. It makes it seem nicer. That looks like a fake wall. I don't think I can get to it. Why do the double knifers have more life than the sword and borders? I don't understand. Weird. Seems weird to me that. Come, Mr. Taliban, I'm going to get it. He's not backing up my theory of him dropping chunks, but I assure you he does. Uh. 
I have real issue with this game, dude. I have some serious fucking issue with this game. There's no way that that's intentional. That has to be a glitch. There's no developer on this earth that would think that that is even remotely fair. Because it's not. Like, I can't put an arrow through it, but he can fucking fire through it. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Didn't even hit him, the bitch. Kind of scared of this monster. Not gonna lie. It's that range. Look at it. And he's trying to do it through fucking walls because he's a genius. Whoa, he rebounded. That's it. GG game, that was awesome. I've never really seen enemies do that. One, two, no three. They normally do three, these creatures I've noticed. One, two, he does two. Get that stamina back. One. And the two? No, two. He got stunned again, so they can be stunned. Yeah, you want them close, so that they can't use the kunai with chain. But that was wonderful to see him rebound. It is a, a rare day when the computer gets hit by that trash. So it's nice to see it. bunch of platforms there to fall to and if there's anything on them. I'm assuming those items up there are to do with where it teleported us to. I wonder if there's a fake wall up there on the raft doors. Can we do this again? Nearly. He shield bashed though. He didn't swing. Is that where the bonfire was? In there? It just teleported us up here. That's weird. So far I've really liked this area. I think visually it's really nice. I think the boss is an interesting change of pace to what it could have been even though I think I might have preferred a dragon fight because I really like dragon fights. And I haven't done one in a while. Yeah. There might be a bat cave down there, but I'm not going to be discovering it too soon. Here we go. So can we... Uh, step off. Step off onto this. Nope. This could lead somewhere good, though. Nope. Oh, it could lead to nowhere. Just a big... Uh... Can we go across there? Oh, no. Whew. The game pushed us off. I don't mind running around. Whoa, he didn't heal me. Interesting. I've got life big enough now so that my flask isn't a full heal. I feel special. This is the area as well of that picture. Because it was like standing here somewhere. You could see the blue sky. You could see the stone and the sandiness of it. And then you could see those people wrapped up with the Chotel things. 
that was one of the rare pictures they showed of a, a completely different color palette and I was like oh that looks like a really interesting place I can't wait to go there and now I'm there Ooh, sneaky twink nice That was pretty sneaky, didn't see that. Have I mentioned I'm excited to watch everyone else's playthroughs? I can't wait to see all the stuff I've missed and all the stuff they found. All the different ways of doing things. That's what I love about these Souls games. I, I shit on the community a lot because I think it's a toilet in a lot of ways. But there are some fantastic people in it. And there are some fantastic pockets of it. And I think when you're all together discovering things and playing together and sharing, you know, those raw moments. I think there's definitely a sense of camaraderie there. And I really appreciate that. I think that's one of the strongest aspects of of Souls. Everybody suffering together. Whoa. That guy just got summoned in by the bell. And he's not good. He's bad. Oh, he's got a, a sword stance. He cannot parry the sword stance, uh, that, the moves from this sword, I don't think. On that video I watched the other day, that's what they were showing. I need to work on my parries. This guy seems really fair. Not the shield really for this, though. Notice how he's charging it every time. Swing once. Yeah? Yeah? He did me. Oh, he's got elemental on it. That was beautiful, dude. The, the computer spacing, say what you want about it, it's really spot on, dude. They do some fantastic movement, even if it is questionable. shit on me. Oh, he dropped his sword, though. Hey, that looks like the the blue blood sword. That really does look like the blue blood sword. I wonder if it's got every element on it. It also looks like that one from Crown of the Sunken King. I wonder if luck will affect it. If it even is that... Who's ringing the bell? <laughs> oh, can you imagine if he had different equipment? That would be sweet. I need to learn the timings on this game. My parries are just not there. Good job that bell can't summon more than one, or I would be in trouble. That's you done, son. I need to get good at seeing that for PvP, because that's the only guard break you're going to see. One thing I realised, which I need to apologise to the game for, because I've been incredibly strict against it, is when I've kicked people, <laughs> I've called them bullshit. Because it didn't break the guard. But in PvP, it's not a guaranteed guard break. It just does increased stamina damage. I interrupted a jump attack with a running attack. How does that work? He didn't do it. I wanted to bait the... I'm dead. Yeah, I couldn't recover. Interesting. So this is just an endless spawn of these guys. But there's only one, so hopefully I don't get too many. This also tells me something else. This tells me that this is a zone in which you probably wear a ring in a covenant, and it summons you in when somebody's here and they shouldn't be here. So maybe Dragon Bros in this is a little bit like the forest. Which could be cool, because this is a beautiful place. I'm really looking forward to PvPing. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. When the English one comes out, the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to pump Vitality. 
I'm going to get uh, uh, some early powerful weapons and I'm going to PvP in every area I go to, try and get some just new game PvP. Because people have been asking me how I intend to cover this game when it comes to PvP if I'm going to bother because I didn't really bother with Dark Souls 2 because I didn't like it. I didn't bother with Bloodborne because I never played it. So, I'm definitely going to be doing uh, a lot of coverage of this one. Especially if I like it as much as I think I'm going to like it. I should really put the Hornet on for this guy. I, do I don't like that, dude. I don't know if you saw what was happening there, but I was trying to do a weapon skill, but he wouldn't go into the stance. Like, you can't combo into it unless you wait. It's going to be really finicky as shit, and I'm not a fan. What can I hear? That. What the fuck is that? Like a Pokemon? Is it a baby dragon? It's got some great tracking, dude. Got some... It's trying to knock me off. little dragon thing. I suppose it makes sense that there would be a lot of scales here, so that's cool. If I fall down there, can I get back up? Uh, probably not. So let's do it. Is this the area where you kill the... Hang on a second. Oh, that was a mistake. Not to worry. Because this leads back in, doesn't it? Watch yourself, sir. I'm going to die here. Ding, ding. Is it that dude there that's doing it? I don't know. Like his shield, he's got good taste in shields. I'll give him that much. See what I mean? Do you see how I had to wait to go into the stance? Because if you go, if I go R1, hold L2, and then R1, it'll just do a standard R1 like that. Whoa! It summoned Havel. This is cool as shit, dude. This guy knows what he wants to do. Kick. Good lad. Do that jump again. Look at the charge. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we need. Uh, I need Hornet on this. Interesting. Seems a little harsh to have spells and a human chasing me. Can he not come out here? That'd be great. No, he can come. I don't know what to take off, because I'm going to affect my... Uh... My balance. There we go. Oh, did you see it? It was the Demon Souls backstab dead. Oh, he did the move! Interesting. Now he's got even more boys. I don't know why he would want more boys. And he's got massive defense, too. Whew. How long does that last, Abel? Too long. I can stop him, though. So he doesn't get as much armor as I thought he would, considering he's using that weapon.
This is good because I can use this area to test out all the different parries to see if they look different. Because one of my fears was that they were all going to be the same thing. He's charging again. He keeps charging his R2s. Roll R2s. Standard R2s. He's charging the hell out of them. That was a partial. And I really paid for it. Look at that. did he do that? He's got his weapon and his shield. I hope it keeps bringing in different people. That'd be cool as shit. This is kind of similar to an idea I had. He just looks like a Drake Keeper, doesn't he? From Dark Souls uh, 2. Gave me an Estus. So who was the magic user? The shady magic user up here. That thing. Whoa, this thing looks cool as shit. Yeah. It's a snake! With a whip! It's like the ultimate anti-Indiana Jones. It's the nemesis of Indiana Jones. That's an elevator. Yeah, this is definitely vying for one of my... There's two, you can hear the other one. I'm fucked. Because of clipping and various other machinations. Fuck you, stupid game. And you cheating bullshit. I stick my head through the wall. Ugh. Fucking nonsense. If that had killed me, I'd have been really mad because I, I survived that bullshit. Clipfest gayness using gay out of context of what I want to use it in. It's not a cool thing. I need to bring it back. I need to stack all things straight as an insult. Because it doesn't offend me at all. Straight bastards. I hope they burn. So it's only downstairs, it seems, where it, it repeatedly summons people. I think I've already been here. Isn't this where there was that dinosaur? That dinosaur was a one-time gig? Shit, I wonder if he dropped out good. It fell off the edge for me. Hey, there's an item there. Yeah, there's probably a boss fight there too. If I had to guess. I'm liking this though. It's getting more elaborate. It's not just a couple of rooms, a couple of corridors, a couple of bosses. I'm liking that it's fully fledged. Thanks. Be nice if they they couldn't do that. I'd like it if none of us could do it, because you can do it too. And I've never really liked it. I'm not above doing it. It just comes off as dumb. It turns it into something stupid. the swing that we want to punish is a little quick though. That'll do. I'll take it. Any day.
Every time he does the shield bash when we're close. Why? Seems dumb. It seems like the move you shouldn't do. Like, then he attacked. Okay. Oh, he dropped a sh shard there. Oh, yeah, a chunk, as I mentioned. Does that to try and catch a roll? Wondering. I need to swap this bow to my left hand. It'll make it better when I PvP. Because then instead of swapping my weapon, I'm swapping my shield. And then I can have the bow out, swap, bait, parry. It's just a better way of doing it. I tried to preempt it because this fucker's so fast and I missed. Hilarious. My fault though, but still hilarious. Cannot parry that. I wonder why. Thanks. Thanks. Keep up with those hitboxes, dude. Keep hitting behind you. I wonder if this has anything to do with the bell that woke us. Hello. Someone else is here. Those two at the same time, like that, not a good thing. 